What's going on everybody? It's your boy Tags with another video. You know what's up. We are learning together. So today I just wanted to show you um, some of my favorite resources that I use to keep up with cryptocurrencies, right? Uh, so let's go ahead into the news section. The first one I use is Bitcoinist and this is everything Bitcoin. They only cover, well they cover a lot, but they uh, mainly cover Bitcoin and then the reason why I like them so much is because they have a lot of um, helpful tools, right? So if you go to the how-to section, it'll give you all types of stuff. How to buy gift cards, how to, how to do your taxes, a comprehensive guide to do taxes with crypto, um, you know, Ripple and XRP, the, 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 the complete guide to what Ripple is. Um, how to earn passive income with Bitcoin, how to buy Ripple, right? Um, what is EOS? So there's a lot of there's a lot of helpful things in this how to the best Bitcoin wallet, um, you know, Bitcoin mining, what are the best brokers? You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like a really good helpful tool. This is why I like Bitcoinist. And then if I go to the Bitcoin section, I can see news, acceptance, technology. So if I go to acceptance, what does that mean? So El Salvador embracing Bitcoin signifies the separation of money and state, right? So now when you go to acceptance, it's just going to be a bunch of articles that literally show how new, new countries, companies, small businesses start to accept crypto payments, right? As a, as a legitimate form of currency. So this is always great to know because then I'll be able to see, um, even if I do altcoin, right? You'll see a bunch of news. The reason why I say this Bitcoin thing is great is because then I could keep up to date with, okay, it's getting more and more widely accepted. And that's exactly what we want to, to, to see for growth in our portfolios, right? Um, you could also see a lot of fintech, uh, you know, different prices on the popular on the popular coins. So that's the first one, Bitcoinist. Um, I'm gonna leave a link to all of these in the description. You got Bitcoin Magazine. Now, Bitcoin Magazine, I like this one because this is exclusively news on Bitcoin. They don't have news on anything else but Bitcoin. So this is great when you want to get just Bitcoin data. And the reason why I say that is because that means that all their time and their focus is going to be on things surrounding Bitcoin. So they're not going to spend, you know, three hours, four hours out of the day trying to find news on altcoin. They're going to spend the 24 hours looking at new Bitcoin news. What happened with here? What happened there? You know what I mean? So this is why I like uh, Bitcoin Magazine, because their focus is Bitcoin only. So you go to articles, see the epic of Bitcoin with Alan Farrington. Uh, so they have a podcast that you could listen to. They have articles as well. Um, let me see. You get to hear whoever drove Bansal. You can see what his ideas are on the societal organization system. Um, okay, so here's here's an article about the, the laws regarding Bitcoin now becoming legal tender in El Salvador, right? Uh, here we go talking about miners moving out of China. So as you can see, it's international news. It's, it's, it's not just located to one location. Um, this is a great website if you're just strictly want to know stuff about Bitcoin. Here's where you want to go, right? Second place is CoinDesk. So CoinDesk is one of my favorite places because it just covers everything, right? Um, all the major, all the major coins you're gonna find them on CoinDesk with with brief articles, in-depth articles. Uh, they have podcasts, videos. They have tools to help you learn stuff. You know, it's, it's a great website, man. This is why I love CoinDesk. Um, you can see the top assets and indexes, you know, and it'll start telling you, look, let's go to the Ethereum. So it'll give you a CoinDesk Ethereum price index um, powered by trading block. 
lets you know an overview, the weighting, gives you a whole little info about it, right? Live data analysis. So it's pretty nice. Um, I love this website. Coindesk is one of my go-tos when I want to hear about what's new. Also, this is another one of my top two, right? Today on chain. This thing is also about all things cryptocurrency. And why I like this one is because instead of necessarily writing the articles, they just link you to the article that's already been written. So for instance, Texas clarifies that state chattered banks can custody Bitcoin. It's gonna take me to Bitcoin Magazine, which is what I just showed you. You could find about all types of news on Bitcoin, right? It didn't create its own article. It just linked me to Bitcoin Magazine, which is one of the first links I told you is great to learn, a great news source, right? This is why I like Top on Today on Chain, right? Another one, Bitcoinist is another article that it links you to about the NFT bubbles, right? So what, what Today on Chain does is it finds articles that I guess their company deems of interest and they just link you to it. And that's why I really like this website because then maybe there's an article on, on another forum or news website that I don't follow but Today on Chain might feature it on their website and then that's where I could read it. Like for instance, USA Today or Medium. I don't follow Medium, but I know Medium does have great content regarding crypto. I just don't follow them, right? So I can now see this one article about how to, how to spot trend reversals with RSI. And you know, this is actually gonna be a great article to read. I might read this and give it a test and we might even explore this more in another video as a matter of fact let me bookmark this add to bookmarks trading done let's go ahead and find another one um, US market news so CCN this is a Norway I think it's from Norway if I'm not mistaken news site uh, they have all types of news coverage you know housing market politics, showbiz, gaming, sports. I chose to go to their markets and news opinions, right? And the reason why I do this is because it's, it's, it's literally opinions on things going on in the world, in the, in, the, in the market, whether it be stocks, crypto, Forex, is letting you know. So look, here's one with a Bitcoin thing. Is it time to redefine the bear market, right? You click on here, you can see it tells you about the Bitcoin losses. It's been a volatile week in the world. The crypto coming from 41K to 31 in a span of four days. Um, you know, as defined by Investopedia, a bear market occurs when a market declines by 20% or more. This decline is usually accompanied by widespread permission and negative investor sentiment, right? So I've read this article and I'll tell you that he does go ahead and say that it's not in a bear market because there's still lots of people buying up crypto, buying up Bitcoin, even though it has dropped 20%. And it's because of how high the volatility is that they're saying that it's still not a bear market, right? So let's go ahead and go to the next website, right? That was CCN.com. I like that because it just has very great, another one, Bitcoin is smashing records, but there's no hint of retail FOMO, right? And you can see what this is saying and see what their opinions are about it. And you get to form your own opinions on stuff, right? Um, Go to the next news. Uh, let's see. No TX. This one is great. This has news on all types of stuff, right? Um, football coin launches Euro 2020 fantasy game. New coin has the Aussies built with the blockchain world has been waiting for. I don't even know what new coin is. But they're saying somebody in Australia has created something for the blockchain. The new Genesis blockchain has commenced on the main net, now allowing applications for stakers and early adopters. Part of family of blockchain technologies that have demolished the obstacles of mass adoption. Boom. Right? We're going to find another website. We was on LTX. I told you this is why I like it. It has information on all types of altcoins, right? That's the altcoin website. Cointelegraph. Cointelegraph is kind of like Coindesk. It, it shows you info on the major on the major coins and it's kind of great um, you know just to get some cool little some cool little look hedge fund manager Alan invest in two crypto startups you get some cool little articles bullish Bitcoin nest flows gives bulls a boost ahead of Friday's 565 million options expiry so it's just letting people know what's going on in the world um, what's this about MACD 
Here's five ways investors can use the MACD indicator to make better trades. See, I'm going to bookmark that for you too. Forbes Crypto is another great website to look into when you want to just talk about crypto. I actually, I'm adding this to the list just because it's Forbes. I'm not going to hold you. But they do have some cool articles that you can read sometimes. Um, you know, like the 12 largest venture rounds. And it'll tell you what the venture rounds are in crypto. And that's pretty cool to see. I don't think, you know, that's something Forbes will look at. Forbes has some interesting stuff to look at, you know. They covered this. Look it out. I'm, I'm just telling you, I put Forbes there because of the name Forbes. But they do have some interesting things. Invest in blockchain. I like investinblockchain.com. This thing will give you all types of articles regarding anything in the crypto world. They follow all types of blockchains and give you the, 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 the necessary info you need. And why I chose the word necessary is because it really is necessary. And then we want to go to Block Nami. This is the last one I'm going to show you. Block Nami is another one that covers a lot of uh, altcoin news. But this one is international as well. And that's why I love this one. Like, look, taxes in the UK. US government recovers Bitcoin from colonial pipeline attack. Huge global appointed agency of record for Tezos Foundation. So it gives you a lot of international news on Block Nami. So these are the these are the ten resources that I think you should start using when it comes to finding news around crypto, man. Um, if you know any that are awesome that I didn't mention, please comment them down so I could give them a look myself. But until next time, keep on trading. Let's get rich together. Let's learn together. It's your boy Tags. Peace.